I'm going to talk about a case where one man kills 11 members of his own family. Three adults, eight kids. This man would not only get one trial for these murders, he would get three court trials. Let's talk about what people nickname the Easter Sunday Massacre right now here on Murderers in Ohio. Butler County is in the southwestern part of Ohio, just north of Cincinnati, just south of Preble County, and it is right next to the Indiana state line. This case happened in the city of Hamilton. Hamilton is a decent sized city. The city does have its fair share of crime and drugs. This case happened back in 1975. This was well before the internet, cell phones, and even compact discs or CDs. There is a white two-story house that sits at 635 Minor Avenue. The house is not far from State Route 127. The house is still there now in the year of 2023. In 1975, a 65-year-old lady by the name of Charity Rupert lived at 635 Minor Avenue. Charity's youngest son, James Rupert, also lived there. He was maybe in his late 30s. He was unemployed. James was 5 foot 6 and he weighed about 130 pounds. He had short dark hair that was combed over to the left side. He wore black thick glasses. He was born in 1935. He did have a couple years in college, but he did drop out. He did train as a draftsman, but he remained unemployed. It is said that James had a drinking problem. James and his mom was arguing all the time about his drinking and not being able to keep steady employment. It is said that Charity had told her son James that she would have preferred to have a girl instead of him as a second child. James's dad, Leonard, had a short temper. He died in 1947 when James was only 12 years old. His older brother, Leonard Jr., had always picked on him. Around March of 1975, James wasn't getting along with his mom and his brother. He owed both of them money. His mom had even threatened to kick him out of the house. James was said to be modest and quiet. He had never been married. He might even have been jealous of his older brother. Leonard Jr. was married to a lady named Alma. It's spelled A-L-M-A. -A. They had eight kids. Leonard Jr. had a degree in electrical engineering. He owned his own house in Franklin, Ohio. The two brothers had totally different lives. Is it really possible that what happened on Easter Sunday, March 30th of 1975, was over jealousy and resentment? towards his brother and mom? Wanda Bishop might think so. On the evening of March 29th, 1975, James had gone out for a night of drinking at a place called the 19th Hole Cocktail Lounge. By the name of it, I guess this was a bar for people who were into golf. I tried to look it up on 
Google Maps, but couldn't find it, so I don't know if the place is still in business or not. James had talked to Wanda while drinking. He had complained about his mom and his brother. He told Wanda that his mom was on him about his drinking and about being unemployed and had threatened to evict him. James had made the comment that the problem needed to be solved. What problem was he talking about? His unemployment problem? His drinking problem? Or his mom and brother problem? James had left the bar at some point and had come back around 11 p.m. Wanda had talked to James again. She asked him if he had taken care of the problem yet. His reply was, not yet. James had stayed at the bar till 2.30 in the morning. That was the last time that we know of had talked to anyone. Till the next day, March 30th, around 7 p.m. in the evening, where he called the police to report there had been a shooting at 635 Minor Avenue. I say that because no one knows for sure, only James, Rupert, if he had any real conversation with anyone in the house at 635 Minor Avenue, Easter Sunday, March 30th, 1975. Easter Sunday, James's brother, Leonard Jr., and his wife and their eight kids had come over to spend time with Charity, the kid's grandma. James had stayed upstairs, sleeping off a night of drinking. Charity and her grandkids had an Easter egg hunt out in the yard. They were just trying to have a normal Easter Sunday. James had gotten out of bed by four in the afternoon. Charity was preparing lunch in the kitchen. Leonard Jr. and his wife was also in the kitchen. Almost all the kids were playing in the living room. It was sometime after four in the afternoon that James had come down the stairs carrying a 357 Magnum and a 22 caliber pistol in his hands. He went to the kitchen and he shot his brother, Leonard Jr., in the back of the head. James turned and shot Alma, Leonard's wife, next. Charity lunged at James trying to stop him. James shot his mom in the chest and then in the head. Three kids had come into the kitchen. David, age 11. Teresa, age 9. And Carol age 13. James shot these three kids. The kitchen floor was covered by the bodies of his family members. James then exited the kitchen and had gone into the living room. James's nieces and nephews were in the living room. Anne, age 12. Leonardo III, age 17. Michael, age 16. Tomage, age 15, and John, age 4. One by one, James shot and killed his nieces and nephews. Most were shot in the head and then again in the chest just to make sure they were dead. One man murdered 11 of his own family members within two to five minutes. Was this what James meant when he had told Wanda the night before that his problem needed to be solved? Why bring all that evil down on all those kids? James actually laid on the couch for a while. Around two to three hours later, after murdering all of his family, James called the police. It is stated that James said there had been a shooting. James stood by the front door and waited for the police to show up. How could anyone be prepared to walk into a crime scene as horrifying as what law enforcement would walk into at 635 Minor Avenue? 
I have seen where some people have said that James killed the kids because he didn't want any witnesses. Which doesn't make any sense to me because he turned himself in. He didn't go on a run. He didn't try to hide. He didn't try to pretend it wasn't him. He brought evil down on the kids. Gotta kill her on a run in Ohio.